Good evening, and thank you for coming to our program tonight. Tonight is Future Freshman Night at Auburn High School. I'd like to officially welcome the class of 2025. You're all eighth graders right now, and we're all kind of doing school differently than maybe we ever would have imagined, but I'm sure you're doing a great job. I'm really proud of our staff at Auburn High for all the things they've been doing, um, all the ways they've been learning, and, and you guys are all experiencing it right now at the middle school, as I know your teachers are doing everything possible to help you guys be successful. I wanna explain a few things for, a, for you about Auburn High School. We're a high school that cares. We're a high school that is gonna work with our students. We expect our students to work with us, okay? And I say that in a way as if you do that on your own behalf, okay? It's not because you're doing it for us, you do this for yourself. We have something at our school we call TROY. TROY is just an acronym. T means we do things together. We don't do everything together, but we always have to think about other people as we do the things we do. And sometimes when people return that favor to us, it helps elevate our status as a student or a staff member. So we're very cognitive. We're very aware of other people in this building. So together is very important. The next letter of Troy is respect. Respect goes so many different ways, so many different interpreted uh, definitions of it. But basically what I like to say is, you know, there's something called the golden rule, you know, treat others as you'd like to be treated yourself. But we try to go for something a little bit higher than that. We try to treat people the way they want to be treated. And we have found that works so much better than, you know, maybe the way I want to be treated, that's the way I'm going to treat you because we're different people, right? So hopefully we can all get to know each other a little bit better um, than maybe if we didn't take that mindset. So think of that as, I guess, the platinum rule. I wanna be treated the way I wanna be treated. And we know that for the same for you. Um, the, the next letter is O, that's organized. We expect that we come with a certain level of organization and we realize as ninth graders, you come in, you come in from different middle schools, maybe different districts, your, your organizational sets might be a little bit different. You're gonna learn some things at our high school. We do things a certain way. Um, there's a lot of flexibility in that too. It's not like we're saying, this is the only way you can do it, but we're gonna teach you some skills and organize will help you be on time with assignments. It's gonna help you manage your time, especially if you're you know, doing all kinds of things. Like if you're involved with sports, maybe some of you have a part-time job you know, even as a 14, 15 year old, those things are happening now. Um, or you want to be involved with clubs that uh, you really work great, great management with your uh, time skills. So um, that's a big one. And then the last letter of Troy is you, um, is Y, which stands for you. And we say you belong here and this is all about you. And this really is a self advocacy part of Troy or the sense that we know you belong here. This is your school. Whether you only go here for, the four years and you're the only student from your family that ever went to Auburn High or your parents went here or one of your parents went here or maybe even a grandparent. We want you to know that this is your school, you matter and you belong here. So those are important values for us at our school. Um, the next thing I wanna share with you real quick is uh, we have something called ninth grade houses. Some of you may have had that in the eighth grade where you have teams or blocks and, and you know the same couple of teachers share the same group of students. Um, and then maybe they kind of split you up on different parts of the, of the day, different periods, uh, but they're kind of working on similar things. Um, we have something called Spear Nine, which is an awesome program where we take a math teacher, a science, I'm sorry, a math teacher, English teacher, and a social studies teacher, and they work very intensely with kids who we need to bring up um, a little bit more up to grade standard. And it's a fantastic program. It has a high success rate and it helps kids, kids get the credits that they need. The other thing we have, uh, other structure is called ninth grade houses. We have a house called Apollo. We have a house called Atlas. We have a call, house called Ares and a house called Athena. These are all based on uh, Greek uh, gods from the past. Uh, as you know, Auburn Trojans. Trojans are based on um, uh, the ancient history of Greece. So that's kind of why we use those themes. If you're in a ninth grade house, you're going to have an English teacher. You're gonna share a math teacher and a science teacher. It'll be grouped in about a group of maybe 75, 80 students, and you'll all be on a three class rotation, but that kind of keeps those teachers all working together on the same 75, 80 kids. So it's been a great uh, model for us. We've noticed that our, 
our credit rates in terms of when the kids are finished with ninth grade are going up, they're moving up, we're getting better with that. So we don't have to work quite as hard in 10th, 11th and 12th grade, helping kids get caught up. Which brings me to the next point, it takes 24 credits to graduate from Auburn High School. You get 24 chances. So you see, there's not much wiggle room for failing classes. We have all kinds of support for students that do, and we try to catch those students early. We try to catch you at the midterm grades, mid-quarter grades, and then we might assign you to something like a Troy time session or even after school tutoring. But you know, getting an F here, it's almost harder to get an F in this school uh, than to get a C because you're going to be bugged <laughs> and and prodded and 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 we're going to keep enthusiastically encourage you to keep working at things, okay? And if you just if you're one of those students that just likes to stay in your lane and kind of be left alone, um, yeah, just do your work, okay? That seems to work pretty well. Um, so just do a good job with that, keeping up. Uh, the other thing is we have lots of opportunities around here for students to get help. We'll share more of that with you in the fall. And the last thing I want to leave you with before I turn you over to future freshman night is uh, we really work on a college career mindset around here. We know not everybody's going to go to college and we know not everybody's going to jump right into a career. In fact, we know some kids want to go into the military. Some kids have even other plans than that. We want to find out what those are early, and we want to help you work towards those, explore those. We have career pathways at this school. I'm pretty excited about those. Uh, you'll learn more about those in Troy time and some of the uh, grade level meetings we're, we're going to have in our PAC, uh, which is our auditorium. So you're going to learn more. But the, the one thing I guess I want you to do between now and the time you show up in September is start thinking about your future after high school. Is college something you're thinking about? I mean, even if no one in your family has gone before, we have all kinds of students that graduate from our school and go on to post-secondary education. Is there something in the career fields that you're looking at? We have a wonderful CTE program at our school. It's even been highlighted on different news stations because we do such a great job with getting kids to get hands-on skills and knowledge to go out and be employable right away. Military, um, we have a junior ROTC program in our district that many of our kids get involved with. So we've got all kinds of options here. We've got all kinds of resources and I just wanna welcome you to Auburn High School. I know you're gonna do great. I'm not gonna tell you it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be hard sometimes. Sometimes it is gonna be easy and I guarantee you this, if you really engage, it can be a lot of fun too. So have a great day. Um, hope to see you soon and stay safe. Thank you.